Sherry from A Quilting Life, and today I'm here to talk to you about log cabin quilt blocks. Log cabin quilt blocks are one of my favorite blocks, and I'm currently working on a couple of projects with these blocks. So today we're going to talk about the traditional pieced method for constructing these blocks. I'm going to show you how I work through it and give you a few tips and pointers along the way. Now be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started now, and I'm going to show you what I do when I work on these log cabin blocks. Now, as you know, most log cabin blocks have just a square for the center, as, as these do, but I'm going to be demonstrating today with a, a different pattern that I'm working on, and this block has a little tiny heart in the center. So you'll see those today while we're working. So what I do when I'm doing the traditional method of piecing a log cabin block is I cut all of my strips, all of my lights and all of my darks, and I actually lay it out on the board so that I have a good visual representation of how I'm gonna sew these things together. Log cabin blocks are sewn together in a circular method. So you're gonna sew, I'm gonna sew this one first and then you um, press, and then sew this one, and after that's pressed, we'll sew this one, and after that's pressed, we'll sew this one. And, and it is really important to press each step of the way so that you get a nice, um, even block. Um, before I show you the first, I've, I've done some of the sewing just to show you, but one thing that you need to remember is that the most important thing for accuracy in these blocks is to actually just cut these pieces to the correct size. So be very accurate in your cutting. Um, the center square is important. And um, okay, so first step is to sew these two and I've already done that for you. And I'll just switch this out and you can see that I've sewn the first strip pressed and sewn the second strip. And you wanna press those strips out each time with each layer that you add. You're gonna just press towards the new strip that you've added. Um, so the next, and then also one thing that keeps these blocks accurate is that you'll know right away if your block is going to match up to the next piece. Um, and if it doesn't, you can stop right then and make an adjustment. While you can chain piece these blocks, I suggest making at least one first so that you really do get a good idea of uh, if your measurements are correct. You wouldn't wanna chain piece a whole bunch of blocks and then find out that one of the pieces had been cut correct, incorrectly for all of them. So the next thing to do is to, um, we're gonna put this right sides together. We're gonna to sew, press, and this one. And I've got that step already done. My blocks are all different colors, but okay. So you can see I've got like my center unit completely done on this one. I've added two lights and two darks and I've pressed them all out towards each successive strip that I added. At this time, a lot of people like to kind of like check the measurements and you can do that if you have square rulers. Um, and so I just check, make sure mine ended up, it's, it's really good. So I'm ready to move on to the next step. And so this time it'll be time for another light. And then you're just gonna continue around the circle. You're just gonna add, um, put these in the same order, lights, darks, lights, darks, and you'll just keep going and continuing around until you've got your block piece together. Okay, so as I mentioned, you just keep going around and I do have a finished block from this pattern to show you um, with a little heart in the middle, the lights, the darks. You can tell in this one too, I wanted to show you, you don't have to keep your fabrics the same. In this 
version, I wanted the continuity of having the same, um, the same prints in each layer. And I did that for the backgrounds and the, and the darker prints. But this is an example of how you can make it totally scrappy. Um, and as you can tell, it just got sewn every single layer pressed out toward the new strip. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed these tips. I hope some of them are helpful for you as you construct log cabin quilt blocks. I actually have another method that I like to use, and I'm going to film another video and show you that method. Some people just really have a hard time getting this method to work for them, and so there is a more foolproof method that I'm going to um, film a video about, and that'll be up in the next couple of days. I hope that if you haven't subscribed already that you'll subscribe to the channel and thanks so much for stopping by.